Hey there friends and everybody who's watching my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. I just wanted to make this garden tour video. I'm about 10 to 20 minutes long video. Um anyway, number one, shout out to Kana Garden, Gopa Garden, um, Rishi channel, and also shout out to Tails. Thank you guys for supporting my channel, for subscribing, and also for giving me those lovely comments. And yeah, let's start. So this, I believe, is a sunflower coreopsis. It looks like a sunflower. See? Then we have a peach color Asiatic lily. And here we have a day lily. We have an Ethiopian Bartzella. It's yellow color, I believe. And that's it for there. And then if we come under the mailbox, you can see the Coryopsis is just in full bloom. Isn't that pretty? This is where everything starts to become really beautiful. So, start here. These are orange lilies. Then we have a four o'clock flower. Um, I, I know what the name in Marathi and Hindi is. I, I, I forgot the name. But I know this is a four o'clock flower in English. This is a marigold. And we have petunias. By the way, these are heat loving plants. So yeah, they're thriving beautifully. Pansies on the other hand, hate the heat. So somehow they're growing. And we have snapdragons. We have this tall snapdragon. Here we have some hermo callus fulva. Isn't that pretty? Look, we have so many of them. So yeah. Um, these are actually supposed to be orange, but somehow this year we had extra heat and we did not have a really snowy winter. Although we did get a few snowstorms here and there and a few days where it went to the 20s sometimes but yeah um they are orange i have the yellow color orangish double ones over there these ones are the single petaled ones anyway so yeah isn't that pretty and then here we have daylilies this is a my three-year-old snapdragon it comes back every year is pretty and we have yellow snapdragons and then here is where everything starts to pop see the clematis these two are gonna bloom tomorrow see this clematis this is a, a six day old almost a week now today's the seventh day anyway happy father father's day to all the fathers out there see isn't this beautiful these are all Asiatic lilies. We have yellows, we have reds, we have pinks. Isn't that beautiful? See, this is how they are when they're newly opened. And then they fade off to this color, and then from there, they go to this. These are called Tiny Diamond. Um, and also, their leaves are like, it feels like wax is on them, but it's really shiny. And then here we have some Stella Deoro lilies. Somehow there's a lily girl, there's a tiny diamond lily going there. Maybe it'll bloom tomorrow. The peonies done blooming, the syrup or not. Then here we have a red romance shrill hydrangea that I got from Walmart. And I planted it this year, so finally we have a hydrangea in our garden because see everybody in my neighborhood see there see there everybody in my neighborhood other than me has a hydrangea and i thought hmm how about we get a hydrangea so i found this this was on clearance for only six dollars the original price was uh 14.99 uh 15 dollars look at this daisy isn't that pretty then here we have 
a Stella de Oro Daylily. See, there are lots more buds to open. This one and this one might open tomorrow. And we have a salvia here that needs some water. Could use some water. And here's a pin cushion. It's also a pretty windy day. So I hope you guys don't mind the wind. And then this pin cushion we planted this year. Whereas this salvia and this pin cushion we planted three years ago when COVID struck. Or not three. I think yeah. Um two years ago, sorry. My fault. Um Maybe three, I don't know, 2020, 2021. Yeah, three years. Sorry for the confusion, but it's three years. Look at this. This proves to you guys that we have extreme heat. The crabapple tree is dropping its leaves because it's there's extreme heat. And uh, last week we were in the triple digits. It was 130. Six or 107 but the real fuel was 113 so yeah my, we had to put all the AC on we had to keep it at 50 degrees Fahrenheit that's how cold my house was but when I stepped out it was burning hot but isn't this good pretty you guys look this apple is finally getting the redness it needs to grow a little bit more to be plump we harvest those in mid-August to late September. There's also a crab apple up there and one up there. I don't think you guys can. Yeah, you guys can't see because the leaves are there. Um, even I can't see that well because the leaves are blocking it. But there's a lot of crab apples here, you guys, on this tree. Not on the bottom, unfortunately, but at the top there are like a lot. I can see it from my window. Then here we have a Empress Wu Hosta. And it's also beginning to flower. Here we have a fern. Here we have a mixed hosta. We have the variegated hosta. We have uh, an Empress Wu Hosta. Then we have this, I, I don't know what hosta this is, but it's a light green leafed hosta. And also see, the flowers are coming. One of them got eaten, got eaten, got eaten by a deer. I don't know even if that's a word, but it got eaten by a deer or a rabbit or some rodent. But they stopped coming here because hostas are rodent proof and are deer proof. Then here we have a, this looks like a palm whenever I see it, but uh, I think, yeah, this is a hellebore. Let's see if we can find any flowers. This is the earliest blooming plant ever and also the the leaves are pretty big and spiky yeah i cannot find any flowers they're done blooming here there's a bleeding heart it's done blooming as well see this is the stalk the blooming stalk then here we have a tomato this is mud um we had a rainstorm and all the mud splattered everywhere see on the hose we had a rainstorm the other day and it just got everywhere. It got on the box, everywhere. Um, yeah, see? This is a tomato, supersonic tomato. And also the other day I discovered this in my garden. Look at this, isn't this pretty guys here? Let me zoom in. I found a double flowering, um, double flowering tomato. It's done blooming, of course, but it's gonna bear tomatoes. Look at all the cherry tomatoes. Let me get in here. We have loads of tomatoes. Like here, it smells like tomato. See, and also the smell is pretty strong, so. The animals, the deer, or the bunny rabbits, or anything that likes to eat tomatoes don't come here often. But anyway, yeah, see? The tomatoes are coming along. We're already at the 10 minute mark almost. So I may stop the video in some time, but I'll just show you guys some everything quickly. Then there's a marigold growing here for some reason. Under the thick layer of tomato leaves, there is a 
um, northern high bush um, tomato. It's I mean sorry, not tomato. Um, blueberry. It is blue crop. The variety is blue crop. Then here's the plums and cherry. Here's the pumpkin. See, it has a lot of flowers. Look how big they are. They're like the size of my hand. And there's a pumpkin here that we got from Dollar Tree. Again, it's really big. Then we have cucumbers. We have uh, bitter gourd. We have carrots. See, you can see the carrots. They just have to grow a little bit more. We have Dollar Tree cucumber. We have Dollar Tree corn. It's really windy. But not down here it isn't. Up there it is. Then this spirea is, isn't the spirea beautiful? I believe that's what it's called. But yeah, I've been figuring out this plant's name for ages and I found finally found an app where you take the photo and you recognize the flower. Isn't this beautiful, the spirea? Then we have a maple leaf hydrangea or AKA big leaf hydrangea. Then here we have a Russian mammoth sunflower. We have the broccoli, as I showed you, we harvested it. Here, see, there's a cucumber here. That is a cucumber, that's a female flower. Then our lemon and lime trees are doing well. Getting lots of new growth. We keep it outside, even in the winter, um, unless it goes down to uh, below uh, 35 we keep it outside it goes dormant and then it comes back if it snows we before it snows we keep it inside so that it doesn't like die or the, the snow doesn't kill it but see this fuchsia isn't that beautiful that's a annual fuchsia there's a sugar baby tomato i mean sorry a sugar baby watermelon these are all sugar baby watermelons and then there's also one under here that's a marigold. Then here we have mustard. And then we have zucchini. See? There's a zucchini right there. Then we have sunflowers. This one already has a bud. This one's a red one. These are the mammoth varieties. I have mixed sunflowers, so yeah. Here's a lamb's ear. Isn't that pretty? Anyway, there's a rose bush. Irises are done blooming. There's another rose bush here. There's another rose bush. Here, this one has a bunch of them. Then we have another iris, another rose bush. And then last but not least, we have another rose bush. And yeah, guys, that's the end of our garden tour. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys have a great day. And thank you for supporting. Bye.